So he just got up and he was like, hey, I'm really glad I come here with Beth and it's been a great event. We were here last year. I'm glad to be here this year and I wanted to do something a little different. And he pulled a ring out of his pocket. And I said, oh, and everyone in the room said, oh. And I was like, I gotta walk away and turn off my microphone because I was not prepared for this. And when I tell you, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. How like, could there be? Imagine if your cousin or your sister or your aunt just got proposed to, you know, just uh, some couple that you've just known in your life and you've been so close to. Imagine that being able to celebrate that special moment with them. That's exactly what it was like because we're truly all family in that room. And I was like, well, I gotta go collect myself. Somebody take this, <laughs> you know? And it was just such an amazing feeling. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, when we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we get to talk to Autumn, oh uh, you'll be alerted to it. So every time we stay our intro, say our intro, I still think about when you went to KetoCon two years ago and you said anybody that could say your sign off yeah. got a blender bottle. Do you remember? I, I still remember think that. about that. Like. I need to do that one day, yeah. but we can't because Autumn's already done it. Yeah, no, go ahead and do it because I don't do I don't even do my sign off anymore no, I because know. I was like, there's so much pressure now. I was like, wait a minute, now I have to make weekly meal preps and weekly full days yes. of eating, oh. monthly weigh-ins, monthly. The, I was like, I don't want to do that. The pressure. <laughs> I'll do stuff and things. I can't tell you how many times Rachel and I have sat at home going, why did we ever stupidly say we uploaded? We uploaded at least five minutes. I, I was I, like, y'all can keep. <laughs> you, you know, I almost wanted to punch him. That was the first, and when he did it, it was just like you're in it, and he's like five and it's like why not three why why wasn't it two i was i mean when i heard we upload at least five new videos every week i was like the logistics i know I was like when do then you find the time then we discovered live streaming and i'm like can't we live stream everybody but a lot of people don't like live streaming yeah, so we try to really do don't. in between yes. and yeah you know, but live streaming is easy because there's no editing there's no editing there's no setup and you know especially for people like us that just love talking and have personality you're never lacking for a subject so you're yeah. just oh, like yeah. i can flip on and talk to you guys all day i can wear what i'm wearing right now i don't have to change anything and i don't have to do any post-production editing let's chat right <laughs> but you're right like i look at, at what you guys have accomplished on your channel i'm just like now you're something to aspire to like i have to get Aww. back to those, those pre-done oh. videos because you provide so much value my mom says it all the time you know what i've noticed joe and rachel just provide so much information you know and i was like I'm so grateful that you're out there to provide that information and it's something to aspire to. It's something to get back to. Aww. Now that, you know, Keto Palooza is over. Oh I my God, it's funny because I don't I don't feel we do provide information. I say Dr. Barry provides the information. Mm -hmm. Dr. Sai was, bro we're gonna give you and Autumn is gonna give you the support to use the information that they all provide. We're gonna give you little things like don't buy Reese's Zero Sugar Peanut Butter Cups. Yes, don't, don't do that. Because they're garbage. Yes. But you're going to help support people, and we're not here to talk about us. We're here to talk about you. Yes, and this and amazing event. We've had you on and talk about your story, but I want to know what inspired Keto Palooza. Because you told everybody here, but yes. not everybody on Yeah, here. so absolutely. So I've had a YouTube channel for four years at this point, right? I and remember so, when you got introduced on Keto Connect. I know, right? That was, the best. <laughs> that was the best for me too, right? And so I remember, uh, you know, just the majority of my interactions with the keto community being through the lens of a camera, right? Uh, and then I remember seeing, uh, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, if you didn't know, right? And so- Awesome city. I know, proudly, thank you. And so I remember seeing, I was just randomly tagged in Instagram posts, like, hey, you're from Louisville, aren't you? And it was like, keto meetup in Louisville. And I was like, oh my gosh, yay, finally, I get to meet people in real life in Louisville, Kentucky that are following the keto lifestyle. And so I go live on my YouTube channel at that point every day. And so I was telling all of my subscribers, hey you guys, the meetup's in two weeks. Hey you guys, the meetup's in a week. Hey guys, the meetup's happening tomorrow. I'm so excited. I don't know what to expect. This is my first meetup, right? And so I got to the meetup and I went with my mom, right? And we walked in the door and as nice as the atmosphere was, as nice as, you know, there were a lot of people there talking oh, yeah. to each other, right? 
it it kind of just felt like everyone already knew each other and we arrived like fashionably late right and so by the time we walked in all the seats were full everyone was just sitting talking already and it just looked like you you know imagine standing at the front of the lunchroom with a tray right just trying to make eye contact with someone hoping that they they'll look at you and say hey come sit with us right no but nobody we're full. did that <laughs> we're done can't I'm sorry. sit here exactly right so nobody did that and i was just like okay well i tried right and so me and my mom actually just went to the bar the open seating right we just sat there and we ended up just rummaging through our snack bag the whole time which was robust and amazing but we just was like oh what did you get what did you get it was no it was, way it was, it was like that Palooza. bag that you're sending us home oh my gosh that was that's what i aspired to right so i was just like i want something on that level right but you know when we left we didn't know one more person than when we came, right? When we didn't talk to one more new person than when we went, right? And so the next day on my YouTube live, my you know subscribers they were how, like, "How did it go? How was it? Tell I us all about that it." I remember that video. I and, remember that live. And and I was just like, you know, guys, as, as fun as it was, I was kind of bummed because I didn't get to talk to anybody. I didn't make any friends. There wasn't any reason that you had to come together, right? It was like if you were outgoing and just, you know, maybe saw someone you recognized or you were just that person, you could walk up. But there wasn't anything like that just made it a place where you knew that like everyone felt welcome, right? And I was saying, you know, if I had an event, I would do this. And if I had an event, I would make it so that you would do this. And if I had an event, I would like have something like this. And my subscribers were like, Honor, you should do that. Like make that event. And I was just like, no, it's okay, guys. Like, I'm just talking here. It's just an idea. Don't worry about it. You know? They were like, no, Autumn, if you make an event like that, we will come to it, right? And so, you know, one day I was just like, how difficult is it to like run a hotel ballroom? So I just started Googling and I was just like, hey, hello hotel. What is it like to have a conference? And I literally just started to put pieces together. I'd say, okay, I just I picked a date and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna reach out to companies on the internet via Instagram or on their website or email. I'm just gonna say, hey, I'm having this little thing. You know, will you donate some samples, right? I told people, I'm just gonna put tickets on sale just barely to cover the cost because it's not about the money. It's just like, right. hey, I, but I have to pay to do this, right? Yeah. And so I'm just like, all right, I guess I'm having an event. and. When I had an event, I knew I wanted to call it Keto Palooza because it's not only about keto, but it's about the city of Louisville. It's yeah. celebrating this beautiful, you know, big city, small town feel, you know, that is is easily accessible to half the population of the country. You know? I did not realize that driving up here, how, I mean, we drove up here at one point. It was like you're entering Tennessee, and then I'm like, and then it was like you're entering Georgia. I'm like, whoa, 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 I was just in Georgia. Yes, exactly. And, <laughs> and literally, we crossed the bridge into another state. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, and it's so close and easily accessible, right? And I just knew that Louisville was the place to do something like this, right? And so honestly, when I made the first Keto Palooza, it was just for my friends. It was just for my subscribers, for people that I knew that I wanted to meet and. Luckily and thankfully wanted to meet me too. <laughs> so how can you not want to meet her? Do you all see why we've always loved Autumn? I mean, I know a lot of you guys are already subscribed to Autumn, but if you're not, please go subscribe, subscribe her because she's building the same type of community that we aspire to build. And that's why we love her. That's why we always loved her. Well, and at, at this event, what I noticed was there was so much thought into having those little places, those nooks and crannies of the convention where people could meet and have a conversation. So, you know, you had karaoke yes. and that is like letting your guard down. Yes. Right? You have to let your guard down. But everybody was so welcoming. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you have, it's a family affair. It literally is. So you were welcomed all over the place. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other things that you thought, well, this will make an, a conversation I kind of want to hear what happened to the first one though. Because yeah. what oh, happened last yeah. year? You, oh. were, you organized this event. So I had the event. I remember that you was, were super excited about it. For, we were coming. For May 2020. <laughs> and then global pandemic alert, right? Right. And so everything, you know, the whole country shut down. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, hey guys, should we cancel? Do I should I reschedule? And they were like, just reschedule, push it out for, you know, as long as you can. And I was like, okay, we'll try September because maybe things will be back to normal by then, right? But in September 2020, things still weren't back to normal, but no. people could travel and people were so determined, whether we had to wear masks, whether they had to you know, socially distance, you know, that's why at that event, I'm so grateful even then, we just had 30 people, you know? Yeah. Just, it was just enough to 
be able to have our own space, but to still get together. And it was such an impactful event that I, I just didn't even need to know how great it was gonna be, right? right? And I didn't realize, like, I might be the one in front of the camera, you know, making the videos and things, but like, I'm your fan too. So when I get to meet you, it's like, oh my gosh, I see your it's name so every day. Right. And I'm so grateful that you're here. And to be able to say that and to touch those people and hug them and take pictures with them, there was nothing like it. And then when they were leaving, they were like, bye, we can't wait for next year. And I was like, oh. I was only doing this once. I was like, next year, this is a one-time thing, right? But just, I could tell the impact that it had. Yeah. And I was like, well, I guess Keto is a yearly event now, right? And so this year, I just, you know, I stretched myself even more. I was like, okay, well, let's do speakers. Let's invite more people, you know? Let's raise the price so that we can raise the quality of the experience, you know? Yeah. And it just, once again, sprawled out into this thing beyond my wildest dreams. And then I have my best friends, like two crazy ketos that come, not only say, oh, we'll be there, but just enthusiastically come and really just share in the experience and make that family feel and connection. And I just, I can't thank you guys enough. And you, so you added speakers, mm -hmm. you add, you had your karaoke, which mm -hmm. I don't, I, we didn't get to attend when you did it in September last mm -hmm. year. So I, I know you did your walk again. Yes. But the you also added an online aspect. Yes, so we added a virtual aspect because there were people, you know, I'm grateful enough, we have, uh, you know, WAC fam all over the country and the continent, right? Yeah. People that just couldn't travel this time, but they wanted to participate. Uh, and so there was a virtual option. So this year we had about 50 people on the virtual option and it was just amazing, but I knew you know, I've been to plenty of virtual conferences, especially last year, right? And really all it is is like a Zoom link and you're just, you're parked in a it's corner. It's doable. Right? Yeah, it's exactly. But I knew like if I'm having a virtual event, I want to make sure that the people feel just as included, just yeah. as important and, you know, just as involved, right? And so I really kind of learned that way how to put on a virtual event as well, right? So I'm just so grateful. I kind of had the in-person aspect down, even though there were three times as many people here this year, right? So yeah. it was so much larger, but then adding on that virtual element, like I'm still, I'm just hungry for ways to learn and grow and expand this family because I could truly see the impact that Keto Palooza had on people last year. And I knew that if it grew, it would have a bigger impact. And then this year it did. And now we're like, yeah, okay, now we have to go to a different space because there are gonna be more people. You had a proposal, which we missed, but... How does that you know, happen? So, you know, <laughs> Beth, one of my longest time subscribers mm -hmm. and patrons, you know, we talk on a Zoom call every month, right? There are just, there are just those people that you've been able to make that offline connection with, right? And Beth was at the first Keto Palooza last year, and so was her domestic partner, LeVar. And that's what she called him, you know, long time DP. boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Exactly, but she was like, we're just domestic partners and life mates and things like that. And so you just think, oh, that's the way it is, right? And LeVar, he does his uh, domestic partner duty. He'll come, he'll hold the purse, he'll say, hey guys, like even though he might not be keto, you know, he's yeah. still involved Support. and supportive, right? And so when Beth and LeVar came back this year, I was just like, oh great, I'm so glad you're here. Drove in from Tennessee, you know? And so I just didn't even plan to have that moment where people could share their wins and, and their ahas. The only reason I did that is because Dr. Barry told me, hey, I had all these books to sell, but Chris Bear bought them all to give away. Because how, he's awesome. Because he's awesome. We're just, I'm just gonna buy your inventory out and give them away. And so he was like, how can we, how can we give them away? And I was like, you know what? A good way would be if people would get up to the microphones and share one of their takeaways from the event, That's right? Good. And so people were just getting up on the microphone, sharing their takeaways, which was so impactful in itself. Yes. And I remember seeing LeVar go to the microphone and I was just like, oh, we have LeVar on the mic. He's quiet, he doesn't share. He's just here to support, right? So he just got up and he was like, hey, I'm really glad I come here with Beth and it's been a great event. We were here last year. I'm glad to be here this year. And I wanted to do something a little different. And he pulled a ring out of his pocket. <laughs> and I said, oh, and everyone in the room said, oh, and I was like, I got to walk away and turn off my microphone because I was not prepared for this. And when I tell you, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Like, How could there be? Imagine if your cousin or your sister or your aunt just got proposed to, you know, just uh, some couple that you've just known in your life and you've been so close to. Imagine that being able to celebrate that special moment with them. That's exactly what it was like because we're truly all family in that room. And I was like, well, I gotta go collect myself. Somebody take this, <laughs> you know? And it was just such an amazing feeling. It was it was so awesome. Yeah. And then, but you're, you're sending us home with some challenges because you didn't allow us in this conference to just sit on our duff. Like uh -huh. there was, 
there were some real challenges this morning you know coach Bronson he brought it with some very unfortunately doable things that Just we can so bring into our life and he removed all the excuses well what if I what if I have a bad shoulder okay don't do that do something else well what if I can't do a full push-up do a push-up over here it's just like oh okay so I'm gonna right. have to do something okay I mean it. and the same thing with the Zumba you you made it so that like let's just do it it's part of the conference mm -hmm. it's here you want the full value out of mm -hmm. it you want to participate in everything and so there was a lot of people where this Zumba class was their first mm -hmm. they've never done it before but because yeah. you've created this space mm -hmm. for them to consider it mm -hmm. They're, they're in, there was no excuses, yeah. like just just come show up and, and do it. And you know, it. and that's one thing that I really love about Keto Palooza because at that point I had also been to KetoCon and KetoCon was amazing. Like it was just this larger than life, large scale. I've never seen so many people, so many companies in the same place, but also, everything seemed to be extra you know it's yeah. just like oh if you want to go to this extra dinner it's, it's this amount of money if you want to go to this extra yoga session this is this amount of money if you yeah. want to take this extra thing and I was just like I just want it all included already you know right. I don't want to have an event where you can you know there were some meals included right there is yeah. some fitness included there are some things already included you know to where you can add on to the experience however you would like but for the most part if you just came in the base level experience you have the opportunity to do so many different things right and so that's why adding on that physical fitness and that that walking the element plus getting to see the, the city of global it was so yeah. important to me to include in Kiva Palooza so planning ahead for next year mm -hmm. what are some of your goals I mean we're not even gonna think about tomorrow the next day we're, we're you're just gonna go to bed we are taking the morning off from live streaming tomorrow no I tomorrow I'm going live She's but that's back probably all I'm doing you yeah. know like I'm committed she to may or that. may not have pajama pants on on exactly it's like oh and done thank you yeah. bye yeah done. it'll be and just I'm, the camera on her face and that's I'm done it. the rest of the day um but looking ahead to next year definitely we've outgrown this space right you know so the Aloft Hotel in downtown Louisville it's absolutely beautiful it's like boutique and it's like oh this is a vibe and I love this right and it's just too small now right we were kind of bursting at the seams as it was and so I'm gonna have to find a different venue right and when you find a different venue there's just so many different logistical things that come along with that and I still I constantly think what more can I add what more value what more you know education what more opportunities to connect right so I don't have any of those right now, right? But eventually I'll have, but uh, one thing I do know is that we gotta, we have to do it somewhere else next year because we want everyone that's been able, you know, wants to come to be able to come. That is so awesome. Well, it was a really great experience. And you know, this was one of my favorites and we talked about it earlier, but it was just, it was a giant family. And, and Rachel and I, yesterday when we talked, we were gonna tell people, please don't go home without at least one person's phone number. Mm -hmm. And you as we got up it. to talk, I didn't have to, I was like, I don't have to say it. It's happening. It, it was already happening. And that's what made this event so special. My prayer is you keep the event like this. Yes. Yeah. A, a, as a family atmosphere. And yeah. then the family's just going to continue to grow. Bigger. Exactly. And that's, and that's exactly what I, what I do want. And you know, I'm like, thankfully KetoCon is KetoCon. I that's don't right. have to be KetoCon. That's right? cool. You know, and so uh, it just keeping it like this because I never want it to get to a point because even then at KetoCon, thankfully you see familiar faces like two crazy Ketos. Right. You see familiar faces like uh, Aaron from AD Keto. You're just like, oh, I know these people. I can go up and talk to them. But how many times did someone contact and said, I saw you at KetoCon, but I didn't come up and say anything. So, you know, it's just like, but it's impossible to do that. We were in like Omaha and, and somebody messaged us and said, I saw you and I was afraid to come say hello. Yeah, and it doesn't happen. You don't here. feel that at all. And that's what made this. How such approachable a is this conference? We actually had two people that were like, I just is this a keto event? I just started keto this week and jumped into the walk while we were walking. Nisha Berry was line dancing. Yes. I'm you know, and, and here's the thing: you just don't, you just don't realize the impact, like until you ask, right? Like, and, and this, this whole thing is just an experiment in like boldness. It's like, okay, yeah. I'm getting uncomfortable. I'm sending emails. I'm reaching out to people that I normally wouldn't talk to. Because once again, I'm not really super social. Like, I couldn't even talk up, walk up to those people in Louisville and be like, hey, my name's Autumn, right? But you know, I just knew that I had to get over it. If I wanted to accomplish something big and create an experience for people that would really have an impact. 
gotta shoot my shot, right? And yeah. that's what happens. So don't be afraid to ask for things. DM someone, walk up to them and say hi, right? Don't be afraid to do that because your life changes because of it, right? You're missing yeah. out on something that is life changing just because you're afraid to speak up. And so you've got to do that. And that's what this event has taught me. I do wanna close with this because I know how much he meant to you. I know how much you looked up to him. I remember when you just had that two minute interview with him at KetoCon, but you had Dr. Barry at your event. I had Dr. Barry at my event. Dr. Ken Barry, if yeah. you yeah. don't know. Yeah. When I Googled in 2017, when I Googled food to help you feel better, because that's how I came to keto. Mm -hmm. I have Crohn's disease and in 2017, my symptoms were so bad that every time I ate something, I felt horrible. I felt like someone was taking my intestines and twisting them and making balloon animals out of them, right? That's and not so fun. it's not fun because I love eating. Like I love eating, but I noticed that every time I ate, I felt horrible. So I Googled food to help you feel better because that's all I wanted. And in Dr. Barry's video, one of the first videos that I saw about the anti-inflammatory properties of keto and how it treats lots of autoimmune disorders. And then I was like, wait a minute, and people are losing a ton of weight, yeah. what, right? So not only you know did I watch Dr. Barry, and then when I met him at KetoCon, and he was so nice and so approachable and just so genuinely interested in helping, um, and then just throughout the different relationships that I've made over the year, it's just like, I wonder if I could have Dr. Barry in a bit like this, and someone's like, well, I have his contact information. I was like, ooh, should I do that? I was like, but I couldn't reach out to Dr. Barry, right? But once right. again, I was like, I, I just have to try. I and have to try. And he's so personal, and I do want to say, if you want the reason to come here, for, We've seen Dr. Barry speak a lot, mm -hmm. okay? And he's been on our channel a couple of times. He did something here that I've never seen him do before. Yeah. He said, you know what? I had a talk I was gonna do out the window. We're gonna spend an hour question and answer. What's your question? And I'm gonna talk People to you. People got specific answers. That doesn't, he doesn't do that. Questions. That's, it's because, I think, again, I didn't talk to him about it, but you can tell the it was, atmosphere. you built this atmosphere and he was like, well, I can't give a talk. It's, it just doesn't Not fit. Close this enough. is a family. I need wow. to be more intimate with them. Yes. And and it was and awesome. It was amazing. And not only that, you know, this was really my first chance to get to meet Nisha, you know? Uh, and then just the who's awesome as well. Just the best, absolutely. You know, and such a, just, just, the community and, mm -hmm. and you know, and the, and the buy-in and really just the support of just like, this was amazing. What can we do to keep this going? And Dr. Barry told me, he said, and if it wasn't good, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. You know, he'd be like, mm -mm, oh, no. this one wasn't it. We'll try again next I year. Like he, you will, know he, he, he will <laughs> be <laughs> honest. If there's anything about him, who's blunt. Now, we're going to let you go. We got to get on the road. I again, I know most of you guys are probably subscribed to Of Autumn. And if you're not, why not? Where do we find you? What's you your schedule? You can find me everywhere uh, on the internet at Watch Autumn Keto, but most notably my YouTube channel. So I go live with my husband Richard every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern and on Wednesday evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern for hashtag Whack Wednesday. So you can subscribe to our channel and ding that notification bell so that you get notified whenever we go live or post a new video. I also want to say you can go, uh, wasn't it so great, first of all, just walking into that room and seeing so many people wearing keto swag and keto yes. gear. Oh my whether, God. Whether Don't it was miss two crazy shirts. ketos, whether it was keto chow, whether it was watch out on keto or my keto apparel brand, Keto Strong, right? right. Just yeah. being like, where can you go to where everybody's wearing something, you know, keto swagged out, and right? they're fun. And they're yeah. fun. The exactly. Keto Strong shirts are awesome. Yeah, so also you can find me there. I am ketostrong.com, but like, you guys are just my favorite people, and I'm so grateful Yay. that you that you were able to come. And I'm so grateful that you had a great experience, and I just can't wait for next year. Yay. Well, if you guys like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we get to talk to Autumn, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.